Candy, costumes, music, and tradition. It's all part of local church festivals that's happening for 57 years. First News reporter Christina Mullen is live in Youngstown this morning with what you need to know. Good morning. We're on Wick Avenue in Youngstown this morning at St. John's Episcopal Church. It's its 57th annual Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival. It's a tradition that has been going on for so many years here in the city of Youngstown, but it's really a tradition for many families. And joining me now is a family that has four generations that have been through this festival. Meet Dave, Elizabeth, and Kit. They have been in this festival for many years. You guys say it's a tradition for your family. What's it like to be here for another year? What do you look forward to the most? Oh, as I told you, the music, I think, is the most wonderful part of the whole pageantry. And um, it's just a beautiful experience for the coming of Christ and the music and the pageantry and the volunteers and the put so much time and effort into it. It's just a wonderful Christmas experience. Great way to finish up the holidays. And as you can see, Kit is all dressed up this morning. Her mom was actually playing the same character she did in today's. What's it like to see your daughter doing something that you did when you were younger? It's such a treat. It's been over 30 years that I was the sprite at her age, so it's very exciting. And to see the tradition and to know that my daughter, myself, my dad, my dad's dad have all participated. And I just can't wait to see her skip down and start the festival. She's going to give us a sneak peek of that later. She's been practicing, so we're going to give her a little bit of time to practice. But this is a, it's a lot of fun to come out here and see this. It's really entertaining, but it means a lot to not only your guys' family, but the church in the city. What is the meaning of the festival? Really, it goes back to the Elizabethan era, actually, back in England. And when Queen Elizabeth's half-sister was, um, Queen Elizabeth took over for her, and really, she used to, Mary was bitter and somber, and Queen Elizabeth re brought the tradition back of happiness and, and merriment, and part of that whole tradition, and that's really how this whole thing evolved, and it's just such a wonderful thing for the community. I see people, different people every year that come out for it, so... We're just proud to be a part of it and part of the heritage of the whole process. And you don't have to be a parishioner to come out today to today's festival. It's $6 for tickets. There's two different shows, one at 1.30 and one at 4 o'clock. It's all going on at St. John's Episcopal Church right here on Wick Avenue. Reporting live from Youngstown, I'm Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News, Sunday morning.